Good morning, friends. We are dealing with entrepreneurship subject. Here are different kind of world and Indian entrepreneurs. We have to know different kind of entrepreneurs. Look at please. This is the known face. He is a known face. Warren Buffett, the father of stock market, he is the most was most richest one of the most richest personality. He is the founder of Apple company, Steve Jobs. Look at he is the one of the co-founder of the um, one of the leading company of the world that is Google's Larry Page. You know this he is the most popular, he is the most popular face, Mark Zuckerberg. He is the CEO or the founding man of Facebook. Look at he is the CEO of Microsoft Satya Nadella. He is the person belongs to India, but now he is controlling the giant company Microsoft, US based Microsoft company that is Microsoft is Satya Nadella. And he is the CEO and he is a man from mm -hmm. India. He is the CEO of Google Sundar Pichai. So then what is the role of entrepreneurs for economic development? There are certain roles are there. How the entrepreneurs are changing the economy, help the economy for its growth. How their role is important and what are the roles are there? Entrepreneur ka kya ka role hota hai? Ek desh ko aage bada nahi hai. So these are the role for the economic development by the entrepreneur. First one is coordinate factors of production. What is factors of production? Raw material, labor, capital, organization, entrepreneur, these are all factors of production. It is the entrepreneur who coordinates all the factors of production together and finally build the finished product. So he is the agent and the resources or the factors of production are scattered different places. It is the entrepreneur who coordinates all the factors of production. He is the entrepreneur. Then risk taker. Entrepreneur is the risk taker. Without taking the risk, without bearing the risk, there is no such entrepreneur. An entrepreneur has to take some calculated risk. Usko pata hai kitna risk lena chahiye taaki wo apna objective ko fulfill kar sake. Wo bada sa nye risk lega. Wo ek calculated risk lega taaki usko apna objective milega. So he is the risk taker. Ordinary people will not take any kind of risk, but it is the entrepreneur who bears the kind of risk. Then innovation. From my classes, I told that innovation is the systematic application of this knowledge. So, without any innovation, there is no entrepreneurship. If you talk an example of Amazon's Amazon company, where they choose the online platform that is an innovation only. Whatever the product nowadays, the entrepreneurs are selling any goods or services, they are helping towards the innovation. Because of the innovation, we are getting the product at a cheaper rate and we are getting the qualitative product. In order to sustain long run, you have to innovate something new into the business so that your product will be acceptable. Kuch naya karna jaruri hai. Agar naya nahi karoge to tum outdated ho jaoge. Isre naya technique lata hai, naya technology lata hai ek entrepreneur dunia ke liye taaki customer ko uska fayda mil sake. So innovation is the thing which the entrepreneur will come with the innovation. Without innovation as for the computer, there is no such entrepreneurship also. So innovation will take place in the form of new product, 
new services, new industry, new market, new source of raw material. Different form may innovation has a target market. So the innovation is the entrepreneur who brings to the market. Then employment generation. If entrepreneurs will be there in an economy, definitely they will have towards the growth of an economy. If entrepreneurs are not there, there is job scarcity will be there. If employment problem will come when entrepreneur will not be there. If entrepreneur will not be there, then what will happen? Employment generation will come, job opportunity will come. It is the entrepreneur in the manufacturer or sector or the service sector or different kind of industry they establish and where they can create a lot of job opportunities. When 90s, where, where the IT become boom, at that time there is a huge amount of job opportunity for the IT people, IT professionals, IT professionals, programmers, developers, engineers. So that's why it is the entrepreneur who brings the business, who creates the lot of job opportunity. Because of them, people are getting the job, people are surviving. People are getting the salary from the job or doing the job. So it is the main role of the entrepreneur by creating certain jobs or employment opportunity in the world. Next is dispersal of economic power. What is dispersal of economic power? If entrepreneur will be there, if there are a lot of entrepreneurs are coming into the market, then the power of monopoly will not arise. The power will be scattered, the power will be diverted from one person to another person. Ultimately, the benefit will reach to the customer. So there is a dispersion of economic power. It is not dominant. If one monopoly market will be there, like East India Company will be there as a businessman or entrepreneur, then there is a dominant in the market where the customer is exploited, where the environment is exploited, but if there is lot of entrepreneur will come, then what will happen? The power will be transferred from one person to another person. Ultimately, the benefit will reach to the customer. Customer ko benefit will get when there is a lot entrepreneur market. If there is a monopoly, then it can be used by power. It can be used by people, it can be used by customers, it can be used by customers, it can be used by employees. लेकिन तरह तरह डिफरेंट एंटरप्रेनर आने से वो जो पावर क्या है वो तो है डिस्पर्स होता है और एंड पावर इस डिवाइड सो द बेनिफिट बेनिफिट किसको मिलेगा कस्टमर को मिलेगा नेक्स्ट इन बैलेंस रीजनल डेवलपमेंट इट इस बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ द एंटरप्रेनर देर इस ए बैलेंस रीजनल डेवलपमेंट मींस एक ही जगह वो क Different jaga development in that. Development in the sense is what? Transportation, communication, IT. Different reason may road facility achha hota hai. Education achha hota hai. Hospitality, hospital grow karta hai. So, wo ek jaga, ek region kya hota hai? Develop hota hai. So, if more entrepreneur will come, there is a balance of the development of different region. So, the development will take place different form. It will be education, it will be healthcare, it will be transportation, it will be IT also that development will take place. So that's why for balanced development of a particular region, it is the entrepreneur whose role is important. Next one is harnessing locally available resources and entrepreneurship. It is the entrepreneur who do understand the value of the resources. Because the resources are very scarce and the entrepreneur need to use whatever the resources available locally judiciously. So that's why the McDonald company of USA is very much successful because whatever the ingredients and components required by the McDonald company, they are getting from the nearby location. So this McDonald company is getting cost advantage and also location advantage. The raw material नजदीक प्लेस से मिल जाता है तो वो वो यूज करके उसका जो कॉस्ट क्या होता है घटता है और तमाम बेनिफिट प्रॉफिट के जरिए उसको होता है 
So it is the entrepreneur who do understand the value of the resources, who give life to the resources by producing valuable product to the customer. Then reducing unrest and social tension among youth. Reducing unrest and social tension among youth. अगर किसी को भी जॉब नहीं मिलेगा उसके दिमाग में हमेशा टेंशन रहेगा सोसाइटी में क्या बढ़ेगा कॉल्शन बढ़ेगा सोसाइटी में थेप्ट बढ़ेगा सोसाइटी में लूट बढ़ेगा सो so, इस प्रॉब्लम को इस सोशल टेंशन को ये जिस जितने सारे नौजवान हैं उनका जो सोशल टेंशन रहेगा जॉब के लिए सो so, उस टेंशन को हटा देता है ये एंट्रप्रीनियर Entrepreneur reduces the burden or the tension of the young people by providing them the right kind of job at the right time. So that's why the role of the entrepreneur is very much important by reducing the tension. Next one is promote country's export. The ek desh ka प्रगति और प्रोग्रेस डिपेंड करता है कितना एक्सपोर्ट वो करता है कितना फॉरेन एक्शन वो अर्न करता है अगर एंट्रप्रीनियर ज्यादा से ज्यादा आए और जो भी कोई भी प्रोडक्ट जो कुछ भी प्रोडक्ट एक्सपोर्ट से जुड़ा है तो फायदा किसको मिलेगा देश को मिलेगा देश का फॉरेन एक्शन इंक्रीज होगा देश को फायदा होगा हम इम्पोर्ट रॉ मेटेरियल ज्यादा करेंगे कोई भी चीज अगर बाहर के देश से अगर हम इम्पोर्ट करेंगे तो हमारे तो जो फॉरेन एक्सचेंज है बाहर कंट्री को दूसरे कंट्री को चला जाएगा तो हमें क्या है नुकसान होगा हमारा जो जीडीपी है हमारा जो इकोनॉमी है उसका प्रोग्रेस नहीं होगा इसलिए एंट्रप्रीनियर का रोल बहुत अहम है बिकॉज दे आर हेल्पिंग द नेशन फॉर इट्स ग्रोथ बाय एक्सपोर्टिंग द प्रोडक्ट टू द आउटसाइड ऑफ द कंट्री Then increases GNP and per capita income. GNP. What is GNP? GNP means gross national product. How much goods and service transaction takes place within the country and outside of the country is known as the GNP. That is calculated on yearly basis. अगर ज्यादा से ज्यादा गुड्स प्रोड्यूस होगा ज्यादा से ज्यादा वैल्यू ऑफ गुड्स आएगा तो उस दौरान देश का जो जीएनपी है जो कि एक इकोनॉमिक इंडिकेटर है जो कि इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ का इंडिकेटर है वो क्या होगा बढ़ेगा एंड ऑल्सो द पेर कैपिटल इनकम पेर कैपिटल इनकम इज नथिंग बट द टोटल इनकम ऑफ ए नेशन डिवाइड बाय नंबर ऑफ पॉपुलेशन अगर ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोग उनका जो अगर पेर कैपिटल इनकम बढ़ेगा उस दौरान लोगों का फायदा मिलेगा एंड इकोनॉमी गेट प्रस्परस उस दौरान देश का भी लाभ होगा क्योंकि देश के लोगों का पेर कैपिटल इनकम क्या हो रहा है इंक्रीज हो रहा है नेक्स्ट एंट्रेस कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन इट इज द एंटरप्रीनियर हु रेजेस द कैपिटल हु फॉर्म फॉर्म्स द कैपिटल एंड कैपिटल कैन बी फॉर्म कैपिटल कैन बी मोबिलाइज फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस एक कंपनी आएगी वो अपना इक्विटी से इशू करेगा आईपीओ इशू करेगा म्यूचुअल फंड इशू करेगा तो क्या होगा कंपनी को जिस कंपनी से जिस व्यक्ति के पास पैसा है जिस व्यक्ति के पास पैसा नहीं है वो क्या होगा ट्रांसफर होगा सो एंटरप्रीनियर डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली हेल्प इन कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन इफ आर इन्वेस्टिंग सेल इन सम अदर कंपनी इफ आर गेटिंग डिविडेंट एट दैट टाइम the entrepreneur indirectly have towards the capital formation and you are getting in the part of certain return so that's why it is the entrepreneur who enriches also the capital formation next one is innovation in enterprises whatever the innovation will take place inside the enterprise also it is the entrepreneur whose role plays a significant role without the innovation there is no such entrepreneurship so innovation is required not only outside of the organization but also inside of the organization next one is improvement in living standard why we are using the smartphone why a rickshaw puller is using a smartphone because the the entrepreneur is providing such kind of goods at a lesser price with technological improvement and people the common man is using that particular mobile phone nowadays smartphone nowadays So that's why the living standard of the people is rising. If goods are available at an affordable price to all the people, if the technology is reaching to the common people at large, definitely the standard of living of the people or living standard of the people is definitely enhancing, definitely increasing. If 
कोई भी टेक्नोलॉजी जो कि नया आता है जो कि कॉमन में यूज कर सकता है कॉमन में के पास पहुंचता है सो फायदा किसको मिलेगा कस्टमर को मिलेगा एंड उसका जो लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड है वो क्या है होगा इंप्रूव होगा इसलिए ये महत्वपूर्ण रोल है इसका एंटरप्रेन्योर का नेक्स्ट वन इज इकोनॉमिक इंडिपेंडेंस इफ यू वांट टू इंडिपेंडेंट इन योर लाइफ इफ यू डोंट वांट टू वर्क अंडर समबडी सो यू कैन बी एन एंटरप्रेन्योर If you want economic independence, then you can become an entrepreneur also. Similarly, also, if people are there in the society, if they want to be economic independent, then they have to do certain kind of job. It is the entrepreneur who is providing such kind of jobs. Next one is rural development and reduction migration. A rural सेक्टर में अगर कोई भी बिजनेस पहुंचता है कोई भी एंटरप्रेन्योर आता है तो उस रूरल सेक्टर क्या होता है ग्रोथ होता है प्रीवियसली द एंटरप्रेन्योर आर मच मोर फोकस्ड ऑन द अर्बन सेक्टर और द मेट्रोपॉलिटन सेक्टर्स बट नाउ इट इज दे आर फोकसिंग ऑन द रूरल डेवलपमेंट एंड गवर्नमेंट इज आल्सो हेल्पिंग एंड गिविंग सब्सिडी फॉर दोस एंटरप्रेन्योर हु आर एस्टैब्लिशिंग और एक्सपेंडिंग देयर बिजनेस इन द रूरल सेक्टर्स एंड This leads to reduction in migration. Odisha के बिल्कुल सूरत जाते हैं, गुजरात जाते हैं, और बेंगलुरु जाते हैं, और हाइदराबाद जाते हैं। अगर कोई भी industry Odisha में established हुआ, तो फायदा किसको मिलेगा? Local people को मिलेगा, local लोगों को मिलेगा। So migration वो नहीं होगे, वो एक place से दूसरे place नहीं जाएंगे। So also this they reduces the migration also because of the entrepreneur. The migration means transfer from one place to another place also reduces. Then entrepreneurship is a career option. So what is the why someone has to choose entrepreneurship as a career option? Is it required or not? Why someone has to choose entrepreneurship as a career option? So wage employment, wage employment or self employment. एंड एंटरप्रेन्योर एम्प्लॉयमेंट ये एंटरप्रेन्योर से जुड़ा है ये जॉब ओरिएंटेड पीपल से जुड़ा है वेज एम्प्लॉयमेंट मींस समवन हु इज गेटिंग द वेज और सैलरी दे आर नोन एज वेज एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंटरप्रेन्योर एम्प्लॉयमेंट मींस हु आर एंटरप्रेन्योर द वे दे आर एम्प्लॉयड सो एंटरप्रेन्योर एम्प्लॉयमेंट व्हाट इज द नेचर ऑफ एंटरप्रेन्योर फॉर दोज हु आर गेटिंग जॉब डू यू आर डूइंग द जॉब दोज हु आर डूइंग द एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस nature self saturating self generating what is the difference between those who are doing the job and those who are entrepreneurs those who are doing the job there is a self saturation self saturation means unka jo har ek ka jo har din ka kaam jo hoga wo kya hoga monotonous hoga ek hi time ka hoga and there is a saturation ek time aayega wo kya ho jayenge tired ho jayenge wo saturated ho jayega वो जॉब सचुरेट हो जाएगा तो तुम्हारा जो इंटरेस्ट भी सचुरेट हो जाएगा लेकिन एंट्रप्रेन्योर केस में वो क्या है इट इज सेल्फ जेनरेटिंग मींस तुम्हारा जो इंटरेस्ट क्या होगा बढ़ेगा एंड यू विल ट्राई फॉर समथिंग न्यू एवरी टाइम सो देयर इज नो सच सचुरेशन इन एंट्रप्रेन्योर एम्प्लॉयमेंट बट देयर इज सचुरेशन फॉर वेज एम्प्लॉयमेंट और जॉब एंड रिपीटेडली टेलिंग दिस इज फॉर जॉब दिस इज फॉर एंट्रप्रेन्योर the scope is quite limited for wage employment or those who are doing the job and those who are entrepreneur the scope is quite vast or scope is unlimited i am discussing under the head of entrepreneurship as a career option why someone has to choose entrepreneur as a career why you should not go for job why should you choose a career as a entrepreneur why should not you be a doctor why should not you be a chartered accountant why should not you be a Advocate, why you are going for this kind of entrepreneurial job? Entrepreneurial job, the thing is that it is saturating. Uska end ho ja ho sakta hai. Ye kya hai? Self generating. Ye uska scope scope kya hai? Limited hai. Iska scope kya hai? Unlimited hai. Yahan pe routine type ka job karta hai, jo ki job karta hai, or base and karta hai. Yahan pe creative type ka job karta hai, entrepreneur. Next one is status quo. Status quo means what? Day to day, the same work if somebody is doing that is status quo, same type of job, similar type of job, but here innovative type of job. 
governed by if you are choosing an entrepreneurship as a career. Next one is always those who are job holder they do avoid the problem, but here the entrepreneur solve the problem. Here those who are doing job they are dependent. Here they are independent. The entrepreneurs are not dependent upon anybody. But if an employee of some organization, if you are the job holder, you have to depend upon somebody. Then contribute. The job holder or those who are uh, earning wage, they are simply contributing the national wealth. Wage. These entrepreneur people they are generating the generating the wealth of the nation. They are helping the nation. They are giving the salary to the people. They are creating the wealth inside the nation. But here, those who are the job holder, they are simply consuming the wealth of the entrepreneurs. Then earning. Here, the job holder, your earning is fixed. But for entrepreneur, the there is no such fixed type of income. There is an unlimited amount of profit he can earn. So that is the charm of being an entrepreneur. Your there is never ending of your income. It is always unlimited. But always, if a job holder, your salary is twenty-five thousand, fifty thousand, that is quite fixed. Innovation, the wage employment, those who are the self-employment or wage employment, or those who are job holder. The innovation they may go for innovation, they may not go for the innovation. But entrepreneur has to give, has to spend substantial amount towards the innovation. Next one is he may or may not take risk. The wage employment or self employment or the job holder, but entrepreneur people they have to take high amount of risk. Then speed of wealth creation. The speed of wealth creation is low. For the wage employment, for the speed of wealth creation is quite fast. The way they are creating or the generating profit or income, income generation is low, income generation is fast. Next one is growth. There is a less growth. Okay, fifty thousand salary is year me. Next year me sixty thousand. But the profit it may be double, it may be triple. Okay, so that's why the growth is quite more in case of entrepreneurship. But the growth is quite less in case of wage employment. Similarly, the scope is all self-employment are not entrepreneur. All self-employment are not an entrepreneur. Those who are doing the the job, those who are the employee of the operation, they might not be the they must not be the entrepreneur. But those who are the entrepreneur, they are the self-employed. वो अपने आप को job देते हैं. So that is the difference between the those who are Doing the job and those who are the entrepreneur. So one has to choose is a career option of entrepreneur because your profit is unlimited. Your profit unlimited will be. Your income unlimited will be. You will be able to work on your own. You will be independent. You will not be dependent on anyone. Okay. So that's why you have. If you require, you take the decision also. Okay. You should not be the independent. Okay. So that's why you have. If you require, you take the decision also. Okay. You should not be the independent. And you can give the job to someone also. Giving the job is a kind of, I think, pious job, prestigious job. Giving and providing the job. It is the entrepreneur who provides the job. But those who are wage employment, they are searching for the job only. So you, if you want to be independent, if you want to do certain achievement in your life, then you have to choose that career as entrepreneur. जीवन में कुछ करना है. लोगों को एम्प्लॉयमेंट करना है अपने सपनों को पूरा करना है तो एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप एज ए करियर तुमको चूज करना पड़ेगा जो कि आपका इनकम आपका प्रॉफिट आप अपने जो सपने को अंजाम दे सकते हो इफ यू आर चूजिंग एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप एज ए करियर नेक्स्ट व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स और डिटरमिनेंट्स ऑफ एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट वी आर डिस्कसिंग फॉर टुडे दैट इज व्हाट आर द फैक्टर्स और डिटरमिनेंट्स ऑफ बनने में कौन सा कौन सा फैक्टर जुड़ा है किस बात से एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप शुरू हो सकता है एंड इट कैन बी कैटेगराइज इनटू थ्री कैटेगरी वन इज इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स देन नेक्स्ट वन इज नॉन इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर नेक्स्ट वन इज सपोर्टिव गवर्नमेंट फैक्टर इन तीन चीज ये तीन चीज आपको हेल्प करता है एंट्रप्रीनियरशिप होने में सो फर्स्ट वन इज इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर इकोनॉमिक इज समिंग रिलेटेड टू मनी नॉन इकोनॉमिक इज 
something which is not related to money that is non economic it is related to money it is not related to money last one is what supporting factors or supporting government factors so what is the economic factor or what are the economic factors which can help for the entrepreneurs ये कौन सा कौन सा फैक्टर जो कि एंट्रोफिलियरशिप क्रिएट करने में आपकी मदद करता है फर्स्ट वन इज कैपिटल आपके पास ज्यादा से ज्यादा कैपिटल होगा तो आप एंट्रोपीनियर बन सकते हो आपके पास लेबर है तो आपके पास मेन पावर है आपके पास टीम है तो आप एंट्रोपीनियर बन सकते हो आपके पास रॉ मेटेरियल है लोकेशन एडवांटेज है ओके कॉस्ट एडवांटेज है क्योंकि रॉ मेटेरियल आपको चीपर रेट में लोकेशन में इजी लोकेशन को एसेस करके मिल सकता है तो आप एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप बन सकते हो अगर आप एक मार्केट है जो कि मार्केट आपके लिए नया है और मार्केट के से जुड़े सारे इंफॉर्मेशन आपको हासिल है तो आप एंटरप्रेन्योर बन सकते हो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इफ यू आर हैविंग द राइट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेलीकम्युनिकेशन रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इफ प्रॉपर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज देयर फॉर योर बिजनेस देन यू कैन बी ए एंटरप्रेन्योर Their economic condition also plays a most important. Base का जो employment rate कितना है, base का population कितना है, base का GDP कितना है, GNP कितना है, base का inflation कितना है, ये तमाम economic condition भी आपको influence करता है entrepreneurship बनने में. Next economic policy. Economic policy means what? It is the monetary policy of RBI. The way the RBI is changing its different rate like. Case reserve ratio or repo rate, the way they are changing, the way the money circulation will take place in the economy with the help of RBI is known as what? Monetary policy. Monetary policy is coming under the economic policy. Also, what is the industry policy of a particular country? Industry kitna strict hai, industry licensing paane mein kitna helpful hai, kya harm hai? ये सब चीज आपको इन्फ्लुएंस करता है एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप बनने में उसके बाद फिजिकल पॉलिसी गवर्नमेंट का टैक्सेशन क्या बोलता है गवर्नमेंट कितना स्पेंड कर सकता है गवर्नमेंट का इनकम कितना है गवर्नमेंट का बजट कितना है वो भी आपको हेल्प करता है एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप बनने में एक देश से दूसरे देश का एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट पॉलिसी क्या है वो भी आपको हेल्प करता है एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप बनने में सो इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी मींस व्हाट मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी एक्सिम पॉलिसी फिजिकल पॉलिसी एंड इंडस्ट्री पॉलिसी ये तमाम जो पॉलिसी है आपको हेल्प कर सकता है अगर ये पॉजिटिवली हेल्प करेगा तो आप अपने बिजनेस को आप अपने एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप को एक दूसरे मौका में पहुंचा सकते हो लेकिन अगर वो नेगेटिव हुआ तो आपका बिजनेस ग्रो करना मुश्किल है देन इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम मींस व्हाट व्हिच टाइप ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम इज रिवलिंग इन ए इकोनॉमी द इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम विल बी डिफरेंट Either it is capitalism in USA and UK, there is a capitalism. Capitalism means what? Where there is a private sector is having the control of production, distribution, manufacture. The private sector is controlling this capitalism. Socialism, the government has to control, like China or US, the government has to control and everything. The production, distribution, marketing, everything. And in India, where it is mixture of both. Both private sector as well as well as private public sector has the role to play. So, which type of economic system prevailing is important? Either it is in the form of capitalism where private sector is having the main role, then socialism where public sector government has the main role, and country like India is a mixed economy where public sector and private sector is having the both the public sector and private sector having the equal role. That is known as mixed economy. So these are all economic factor which influences for the entrepreneurs. Then non-economic factor. These are the all non-economic factors. Non-economic factor means which is not related to money, but social factors like caste, your family, your education, your culture, society security. You might be having had this different kind of caste who belongs to the business class, Marwari family. They belong to the entrepreneurship class. What are the factors or determinants of entrepreneurship? All certain kinds of factor, जो के entrepreneurship बनने में वो मदद करता है. First one is economic factor, then non-economic factor, and supportive government factor. 
The economic factor means those factors which is related to legitimate money is known as economic factors. But capital is there, labor is there, raw material is there, market is there, infrastructure is there, economic condition is there, economic policy is there, economic system is there. For every kind of entrepreneur, what is required? Capital is required. Without capital, without finance, there is no such entrepreneurship. Capital means fund is required. If you are getting the fund from different sources, whether internal, your own fund or borrowed fund, then that will help you for entrepreneurship. So capital is the first ingredient, first factor which influences. The capital may be your own fund or you can bring the fund from base or commercial institutions or financial institutions or any kind of venture capital or by issuing the equity share you can bring the capital also. So first of all the main factor of the capital is uh, brought from your own fund as well as your, the funds from your family or from your friends also. So the capital is the most important ingredient for starting any kind of business or entrepreneurship. Next one is labor. Whether the human resources, whether the main power of the workers are available to your business easily or not. Aapko worker, labor or main power or employee easily milta hai to aap apna entrepreneurship ko aage bada sakte ho. Ek achha kasa team banane ke liye aur milne ke liye aapko luck hona bohut jaruri hai. Aapko wo milne se aap apna business ko aage le sakte ho. Then next one is the raw material. Most of the metal or companies, why they are successful is that they are getting the raw metal in a easy location place where they are getting the cost advantage. So that's why raw material is the one of the most important factor for starting any kind of entrepreneurship. Next one is market. If the market which is known to you, where all the information knows to you and you can easily assess the market, then that market will be benefit for your product as well as service. That market also, if you know the market, you know the market, you know the information you have in your mind, you can't do entrepreneurship. Then infrastructure, the roads, the transport, transportation, roads, then telecommunication, water facility, electricity facility, hospital, in the what are the water resources? What are the electricity resources? What are the resources for which your infrastructure is made? That resources is easily available, whether road or transportation or telecommunication or IT. If it is easily available to your business, that will help to the growth of the entrepreneurship. Next one is economic condition. Economic condition comprising of the population size. देश में कितने पॉपुलेशन है देश में इन्फ्लेशन कितना है इन्फ्लेशन मींस प्राइस कैसे चल रहा है देश में जो एम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट कितना है फॉरेन एक्सचेंज रेट कितना है एक्सचेंज रेट कितना है इंटरेस्ट रेट कितना है वो इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन से जुड़ा है अगर लोगों का इनकम बढ़ रहा है तो बिजनेस भी बढ़ेगा लोग एम्प्लॉयमेंट ज्यादा से ज्यादा एम्प्लॉयमेंट है एक देश में तो आपको क्या बढ़ेगा एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप बढ़ेगा अगर इंटरेस्ट रेट लो है तो आपका बिजनेस एक्सपेंशन होगा एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप भी बढ़ेगा तो तमाम जो इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन भी इन्फ्लुएंस करता है एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप को आगे ले जाने में नेक्स्ट वन इज इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी मींस एक्सिम पॉलिसी दैट इज एक्सपोर्ट इंपोर्ट पॉलिसी ऑफ अ कंट्री इफ एक्सपोर्ट राइजेस डेफिनेटली द फॉरेन एक्सचेंज टू अ कंट्री इंक्रीजेस if import rises, then foreign exchange reduces to a country. The exim, exim policy means the export important policy that is coming under the economic policy. Then the economic policy one thing will come monetary policy. Monetary policy means the RBI, Reserve Bank of India. The way it changes its different kind of case reserve ratio, repo rate, and the way the money circulates in an economy that also the important factor. Similarly also, Fiscal policy. Fiscal policy means what? The income and expenditure of the government. The way the government is getting the income, the way the uh, government is formulating its budget, the way the government is charging taxes. Taxes, if it is become higher, that is a demotivation to the entrepreneur. 
So taxation leads to demotivate, whereas reduction in the taxation leads to increase in the entrepreneurship. So that's why the economic under economic policy, taxation policy will come, monetary policy will come, and exit policy will come. Then economic system. Economic system means either it will, it will be capitalism, socialism, or mixed economy. Capitalism means what? Where the private sector plays the most important role in production, distribution, marketing, manufacture of the products. Best example is USA and UK, where the private sector are dealing with all those aspects. In case of USSR and China, where public sector of the government plays the most important role, so that is known as socialism. Similarly, in India, the Mixed economy means some sector the government plays a most important role and some sector private sector plays a most important role. So mix of both private sector and public sector is known as mixed economy. So economy system comprising of capitalism, socialism, and mixed economy. So these are all economic factors which influences for the entrepreneurship. The non-economic factor. What are those non-economic factors which can influence the entrepreneur? Social factors, caste, family, education, culture, society, security. Suppose if the particular society belongs to the Vaishya family or business class community, then by getting the influence from them, you also be an entrepreneur. In India, the Badik community belongs to the West Bengal, they are the business class people. The Marwari family of the Rajasthan belongs to the business class people or entrepreneurship class people. Similarly, Chennai's Chitayas that they belong to the business class people. Karnataka's Sethis they belong to business class people. In India, in Orisha, there is commodity class, K O M A T A, commodity class people they belong to the Business class people or Vaishyas that belongs to the business class people. Similarly, the Patels who belong to the business class people, they are having the business of hotels in different US or UK countries. So that's why the case system is also important for carrying the business to the next level. Then family, whether your family is helping you or not, whether your family is having any kind of ancestral property or not? Aapke family ke paas paisa hai ya kya? Aapke jo father hai, unke father hai, aapka kuch income hai kya? Wo bhi help karta hai entrepreneurship banne mein. Next one is your education. Which type of teaching you are getting from the schools, college that is important. If the education system tells to do your own project, definitely you will start your own venture. That will help indirectly for starting your own enterprises. If the teacher will tell in the school, don't take tea, then what will happen? The business of tea, business, chai ka business kya hoga, kam ho jayega. So education system also plays important role. And in case of India, there are different kind of management colleges are there, IIMs are there, business schools are there, who are helping for building the students to be an entrepreneur. So education system also plays an important role. Similarly, aapka culture kya bolta hai? Culture aapka job ko priority deta hai ya entrepreneur ko priority deta hai. Based upon your culture also the entrepreneurs are created. Similarly, society, society and security. Aapka society kis ko important deta hai? Generally, metro manual market in India, those people who are having the better job, the metro manual market, the candidate is getting the choice of bride or groom. So that's why the society plays the most important role. So society may a entrepreneur ko kaise dekhte hain, a engineer ko kaise dekhte hain, job holder ko kaise dekhte hain. Agar society achhi tarah dekhte ga ek entrepreneur ko respect dega, to entrepreneur ko banne mein koi bhi dikkat nahi hai. Then security. If you are having the entrepreneur, your job is you are not getting the job, no doubt, but somehow you are not dependent. You feel feel secure because you are not under someone. So that kind of sense of security is also important. Next one is psychological factors. That is need for achievement, withdrawal of status, respect, motives, authority, recognition. So there are certain psychological factors, mental factors also influences. Like I want to grow like this. I want to achieve that kind of status. I want to be the number one 
my company should be the number one. I have to achieve that kind of target. So this need for achievement makes someone to be an entrepreneur. My company target is this much. I have to uh, cross this one. I have to expand my business to domestic to the international. This kind of motivation for achievement or need for achievement leads to the entrepreneurship. Then withdrawal of status risk aspect. If you are not getting the respect what is required for you, then it is an opportunity for you to start the enterprise or being an entrepreneur and you have to go, the, go in the process of entrepreneurship. Next one is motives. I want to be independent in my life. I don't want to be under somebody. I want to keep the employment. I want to take the risk. I want to be innovative. So on that basis also, there is a chance to be an entrepreneur. So if somebody wants to get the power, if one wants to use his power, he can be the entrepreneur also. Occupy certain position, power also, or recognition also, respect also, someone want to be an entrepreneur or entrepreneur is created. Then personality factors, the personality factors or personal factors we can say like your administrative skills, your accounting skills, marketing skills, okay, selling skills, your leadership skills, your motivation skills, your logical thinking skills, these all skills will help you for being an entrepreneur. To be an entrepreneur, the, these different kind of skills also, the personal traits, traits or intelligence or the motivation skills, leadership skills, logical thinking skills, marketing skills, administration skills, financial management skills, this will also help you for the entrepreneurship. Similarly, independence. If you want to be independent, you, you want to work under nobody, then you know to be independent economically also, you be an entrepreneur in the future. Then one person, somebody is having the skills, somebody is not having any kind of sources, somebody is having the wealth, Somebody due to the compulsion having that kind of technical knowledge, skills, manual skills, they also with compulsion they become entrepreneur. Next one is political factors. How, which type of political parties are there? What is the scope from the political party? What is the ideology of the political party? What is the philosophy of the political party? Whether the political party or the ruling party will support you or not support you, whether opposition will support you or not support you, this all factor also influences for your business. How much the government is spending towards defense or military, that is also the important factor for the entrepreneurship creation. Next one is legal factor. There are different legal factors are there. For that legal factor, there are different acts are there, Companies Act 1956, Income Tax Act 1961, and different kind of competition act, patent act, trade market, industrial dispute act, consumer protection act, pollution act also is there. If you are quite suitable, if you are knowing, knowing the knowledge of all legal aspects or legal factors, then you will be successful in case of entrepreneurship. Next one is technological factor. If you are adapting latest technology, if you are having a new technology which is a unique to uh, to your business, then you can go for that particular technology because of that technology which can act as a tool for reaching your milestone. So that's why the technology plays a most important role. The technological factor plays a most important role for carrying the business to a new newer height and increasing the standard of living of the people and with the effort of it by your business, by your educators. Then demographic factor. Demographic factor is what? The sex or gender or income level of the people, the type of people are there in the society, the these religion, these are all factors which influences. Okay, the gender, the whether that is male or female, whether that is adult, child or old, what is the income of the people. These are all demographic factor. It also influences for the entrepreneur. Next one is natural factor. Natural factor means what? Which type of area, which type of topographical area, whether rainfall is good or bad, it is hot or not, the particular area, what is the structure of the soil, 
of a particular place if you want to start a, uh, a business in agriculture. So these are all the natural factor also influences. If in a uh, state like Odisha where the natural uh, calamity is very often, then entrepreneurs will very much hesitate for doing the business also. The last one is supporting government factor. If the government is giving the tax, tax relief, tax concession, tax holiday to any kind of business, then entrepreneur will grow like anything. If the government will put a put lot of tax, it will not repay anything, put a lot of extra duty, and the government is having a lot of imposition of the tax, then no entrepreneurship will be doing their business. So that's why the government support is required. The government support in the form of tax, in the form of extra duty, in the form of import duty, if most tax holidays are given, tax concessions are given, tax rebates are given, then that is a motivation of entrepreneurship. If more tax is imposed, if no tax holidays are given, if no subsidies are given, there is, if there is no growth of entrepreneurship. This is all about today's class. Today's we have discussed different kind of things like what is the role of entrepreneur in economic development and also we discuss why you have to choose entrepreneurs as a career and the last one is what are the factors or determinants of entrepreneurship. Thank you so much for the you have to continue listen the lectures continuously and you have to pause and again and again you listen so that there will be a better understanding of this entrepreneurship subject.